first off, it's good to see you. Let me get one thing out of the way real quick. If you enjoy my videos and want to support the channel, the best thing you can do is hit that subscribe button right there, turn on notifications. It's the best way that you can tell YouTube that I should get more people to view my videos. So another couple things that you can do is join our Discord, join the crew. That's the real crew. The link is in the description. And you know what would be really cool is if you just tell someone that you know about my channel. If just send them a video. Be like, hey, check this guy out. Get them to subscribe. They'll they'll likely thank you for it. So this past weekend, I traveled down to the Philadelphia area to attend the Too Many Games convention. I heard great things about this conference in particular, and some of my friends and panelists on the TieCast podcast had already started planning their trips. So I was in. I knew that there were gonna be a ton of content creators who inspired me to create this channel, and I would get to meet some of the people that I talk to every single day. Now, this technically was my second gaming convention, and the first one I went all out, brought the drone out and everything, and you guys did not like that. Or YouTube didn't like it. Someone did not like that. So this time, no aerial shots of my sweet ass car. Th there was some irony happening. At the end of the weekend, I was packing up everything, and I realized that at a convention called Too Many Games, I bought exactly one game. And it was a stupid game. It is a stupid game. You wanna see it? It's right here. By the way, if you couldn't tell, the game is a complete in box Top Gun for the NES. 
Now I know the games in the NES era were a different breed. Developers and publishers were limited. They were balancing length and difficulty and how to prevent people from just renting the game and completing it and returning it and never actually buying the game, which is, that was a big issue back then. It's a reason why some of the games back then are so difficult by today's standards. So why did I buy an objectively stupid hard game? I should note that I usually only buy retro games if they have a specific nostalgic appeal to me or the price is right. Luckily for me, this game kind of checked both boxes. I grew up watching the Top Gun film, what felt like daily and the NES copy of Top Gun was probably in my console more than some of the NES classics. I know blasphemy, blasphemy, blasphemy. All praise our Lord and Savior Mario or Link. What's dumb is I don't think I ever landed on that aircraft carrier or beat the second level for that matter. The concept of that little mini game is really cool, but the execution of it is just absolutely terrible. All right, all right, I was wrong. I did it. Now, if I'm being honest, the first level of just shooting the planes down and everything is actually pretty enjoyable. It's not a bad experience for an NES, like tunnel shooter type of game. It, it wasn't until Afterburner for the Genesis and then what was Afterburner 2 for the 32X, which I put a lot of time into, that it really dethroned Top Gun. Now there are only four levels and I've been trying to do better than I did growing up over the last day and I have not been successful. <laughs> the thing is I'm glad I picked it up. While it was technically my only software game purchase over the weekend, I did pick up some other stuff. I bought my my kids a lot of things. I got this, uh, this Kirby plush, I got a t-shirt. I got our, uh, my son's copy of Super Mario Odyssey signed by Charles Martinet to him and his brother. I got a great condition BMU. And I also bought an SNES classic from Toaster Dog, who is a Tycast podcast panelist and friend of the channel. But it really, it really was such a fun and memorable experience. I ended up sharing a room with Russ Cryosneasel and Chris Toaster Dog and Monado Max and Discart were also in our hotel room, so we met up with them every day, every night. We spent the days exploring the the floor of the convention and then nights playing games together and just socializing, talking shop. A, a really memorable experience was attending the, the Q&A panels. I was there for the Spawncast Live panel, Beat 'em Ups, and uh, the Wolf Den panel. Then I was lucky enough to spend some time after the conference with all of them talking shop and just spending some time with content creators who inspired me. It, it was really refreshing meeting some of these people and seeing how genuine and considerate and passionate they are about you know creating content and being in this industry. Because I know it's, it's not always the case. When, when I was in the music industry, you know, you'd always run into people who were just two-faced, who were out for themselves, who would just, you know, just didn't give a crap about you if you weren't someone that would help them push their career forward. So if, if you see this and, and we talked on Saturday night, I really appreciate it. Or if we talked at the convention at all, like I, I had such a good time. Now, before we go, I have one last thing. Be sure to follow me on Twitch. We do a weekly podcast called The Tie Cast. It's on Thursday nights at 9 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Pacific. Every Thursday, we do a video game book club where we spin a wheel of nominated games and then we all play that game for the next month. It's topical, it's opinion based. We have a, a big panel that I bring on every single week. If you're not on Twitch, there's also in the description a link to the VOD channel that I put up optimized versions of the podcast, the video versions of the podcast. And if you're not into video podcasts, subscribe on Spotify or Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts. I'll have the link in the description for that. So check it out if you're just into podcasts, even if you're not into podcasts, you just want to hear my voice some more, see my face. Thank you. I hope to be attending more of these conventions and I want to see you there. Come say hi. I will always talk to you uh, if you come say hi to me. Cheers. Have a good night.
I'm gonna murder someone if this isn't in focus. 